Pally Muscle has issued his Muscle Up Challenge. I'm issuing my own challenge, taking some of that Kino Body market share. And my challenge is for coaches and athletes and content creators on YouTube to make informational videos discussing the pros and cons of the Muscle Up exercise. Because from what I see, this is a massive gap in information in YouTube fitness. We have endless tutorials on how to complete and perform muscle ups using variations and progressions, step-by-step progressions, different exercises which translate. But an actual discussion into the risk reward of the muscle up from what I can see is severely lacking. And don't worry, I've got a hashtag for my challenge. It's called hashtag muscle up challenge. Have a seat, get out your sponges, and absorb how creative my hashtag is. And so the muscle up exercise is ubiquitous amongst YouTube fitness. The calisthenic community, you'll see this exercise all over the place and it's highly impressive, visually impressive. Is the muscle up the true test of strength as Cali Muscle states, or is it a party trick? The balloon animal, if you will. I don't get invited to parties, no idea why. Or perhaps the truth is somewhere in between. Now, when you issue a question such as this, it can be difficult to give a clear question because, of course, it depends on specificity, how the exercise relates to you. And so really the question is to do with the effectiveness of this exercise. Is this something that people should aspire to? Is it a true test of strength? Is it highly effective? Is it a highly effective calisthenic move in terms of pulling and pushing? Or is it just a circus or party trick? Shredded Sports Science has issued the Muscle Up Challenge. And so I'm not the biggest fan of Cali Muscle's hyphy products. And so as a starter, whenever there is a supplement, which is a supplement of a supplement, that is the time when you need to take a step back and Conor McGregor backhand slap that to the floor. Negative, 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 negative. And it's with proud pleasure that I bring back the pillow scream. But fair play to the guy, he floats through that movement like an elegant swan. His products are terrible, but fair play to him for his muscle ups. And so here are some questions to guide this challenge. Is the muscle up the true test of strength? Is the muscle up an exercise that people should aspire to perform? What sort of risk reward is involved in the exercise? How transferable is the exercise to your specific fitness goals? These are some of the spuds to consider when we are approaching a debate such as this. I know that Harrier loves them. His fans do not love me. He said that buff guy, Alan Roberts, was better than Chris, yet I highly doubt that guy can do a pseudo push-up. Or what about a handstand push-up? Your moustache is outstanding. And for those of you new here, it's a long story which involves the burning of arm fat. Today I'm going to show you how to lose arm fat and get toned. Burn arm fat. Who's too spouting this nonsense? Who... Who? Okay, let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to lose arm fat and get toned. Arm fat. I want the women who are watching this video to know that real fitness professionals understand how ridiculous this condescending nonsense that is pushed your way in regards to arm fat is and the butchery of nutrition for fat loss stupid idiot has no effect on evidence-based information and so from what i can see in youtube we have so many tutorial videos and they do have their purpose in terms of the risk reward factor because of course exercise execution plays a role in the risk of injury and so by teaching this movement and it is a complex movement these tutorials are actually having an effect on the risk reward involved in the exercise. And when it comes to execution, we should I should also state there are different types of muscle up. You have the more strict strength based muscle up. You also have the kind of more dynamic momentum based muscle up. And so we should perhaps classify those as different exercises when we have different execution of an exercise we can classify them as different exercises in themselves as that can help with our programming funnily enough i made a video touching on this involving kino body if you are new here don't worry not all my videos are about kino body I only got two of them and so we do need to be aware of these different types of muscle up before we just generically brush them when we debate this question 
And of course, you can also perform them on a ring as well as the bar. And so that is worth being aware of. And Jeff Cavalier from Athlinex does have a video discussing the risk reward of this exercise. You got, you got to really turn yourself over. Well, this is internal rotation at the shoulder. And again, internal rotation at the shoulder, especially quick internal rotation at the shoulder, especially if you have a shoulder that's not really biomechanically set up properly for that. So if you have a a hook the chromium here, this could quickly lead to shoulder issues too. A few pieces of information I want to push into this debate. Now to be clear, I suck at muscle ups. I don't train specifically for them. I do train pull ups. I do train advanced pull ups. I do train dips. I love calisthenics. However, with the muscle up, you have the false grip, the grip position which flexes the wrist. And that is something that is used and is important to note with a muscle up because one of the risks associated is, is this flexion, which can lead to elbow issues. And so people do use a false grip when they perform the muscle up to help with the movement and the technique, to help with that transitional phase from pull to push. Gymnasts, some of the greatest athletes they are, incredibly strong. How would I phrase that? Strong as f use the muscle up movement in, in their movements and training in their art form. And so that is also something worth considering when you, when you answer this question and debate this. And so I will most certainly be looking at other videos relating to this hashtag and also reading the comments down below to improve my knowledge and develop my understanding of this exercise. And I may then produce a hard hitting sequel to this video, such as the Nutty Professor 2, the Clumps classic. And so my challenge to you and to content creators is to create these informational videos discussing the risk reward of this exercise, as this is greatly missing from the content base I see. I'm James Linker. This is the Shredder Spot Science. Thank you so much for everybody who watches. Thank you so much for the support. It's, it's deeply appreciated. I'll see you soon.